morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We're watching this. It's Sunday, it's fun day, and uh, I'm out with the crew. We have Matt. Hello. We have Chris. We have Mark. I've got his face this time. We have Luke. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're out on the field today. We'll see what we can find. Uh, I'll just keep you updated. Anyway, and, and we're pretending that we haven't already done this, and yeah. we're just like going yeah. back. Yeah, this this honestly isn't the end. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretending we haven't been out, but I've slept in already. Chris. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Anyway, oh, see you on the first hole, and don't forget to subscribe to these two motley crew. Right, Bye. moving on. <laughs> right, on to my third signal of the day. The other two have been shotgun ends, and the rubbish as if. But this one looks very interesting. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's heart-shaped. I mean, if it was Nirvana, it's not a heart-shaped box, but that there is definitely heart-shaped age. I couldn't tell you, but... Yes, it's a very interesting one, that one. I like it. Oh, Find it a day and it's a heart. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's a nice little one. Yeah. Back in the fine I don't want to film that. No, you can't. All right, right. moving on. Yeah, that. <laughs> wow. I'm on to my next find. And it's not as silver as a oh, silver thing, but it's, oh, sorry. it's a plated buckle. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. You will be. Right. <laughs> Have I dropped my pointer? God damn it! Yes, you have. <laughs> Again. Right, moving on. Right, on to my next signal, my next find. Look at this little button. It's a, it's a really old military button. Uh, as you can see, it's got three cannons on it. Uh, or is it just two cannons? No, definitely three cannons with three pips at the top there. This here, that would have been a loop around to there, so it would have been actually a proper button, and it wouldn't look like a big spike. But hey. I like my buttons, as you know, and I like my military buttons even better. That is a cool little find of the day. Right. Doesn't beat the thimble yet, though, but come on. Right, see you in the next. All right, boys and girls, I am um, onto my signal here. I first thought I thought it was a matrix seal. Uh, look at the bottom looks blank. Uh, and I don't know if you can make it out on camera. It looks like it's even like leather there. So I think it's just like a rivet for some, for something. I'm not too sure. Doesn't seem that old, but hey. Pull another little fine for the punch. Moving on. Right, I'm onto the next signal. Uh, come out of the hole. It looks round. Can you see it? Come on, first coin of the day. No, it's a button. Oh, nice big flat button. Hey, ain't complaining. It's another button for the pop. Moving on. Right, I searched around for a little bit and I couldn't find it. Look at the size of this teeny weeny little buckle. You see? That is tiny minute. And it's still got the strap, it's still got the, the, the uh, what they call it, the sticky out bit on it. But yeah man, that's an absolute peach and it was onto something metal. Uh, it's got like a metal strap on one side. See, metal strap. And it's still got the buckle bit. That is cool, man. I haven't found a buckle that small complete before. That's epic. Right. Me and Mr. Worm, we'll see you on the next hole. There I was, swinging away, swinging away, and something rang me ears off. And I didn't even have to dig for it. Can you see it? Center of the screen. I think it's a bucket list find for me. Never found one before. Fingers crossed. Oh. Ah, oh, is it silver or pewter? Ah, oh, I thought it was silver thimble. I'm gonna say it's not as heavy as I thought it would be, even with the mud inside. Oh, I don't know. Let me have a clean up, see if I can find any hallmarks or whatever. And if not, I shall show you anyway. After close inspection, uh, what I'll do is have a wash when I get home and show you, but. Yeah, you have a wash, you smell it yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a shower as well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna say that's silver, um, not pewter, because. You can see the little glisten there on that corner. Pewter's kind of good, get a dull glisten, but still gets a nice shine on it. But give you 100% ID at the end of this clip. Move on. That's where I pulled that tiny buckle out of. And I swung a bit further. I got this here, uh, possibly an old strap end, but it is far, very worn. Uh, I have already had a little squirt up, try and get something off it, but I can't, it's just toasted, but that is cool. <laughs> Moving on. Right, 
I don't usually film nails, but that one's come out perfect. It's like a little mini horseshoe. And look, that is an old, probably horseshoe nail to be honest. It's uh, got the right shape to it. But yeah, man. No coins yet though, so fingers crossed. On to the next. There's old detector mat there, look, swinging away. Look at that beautiful sky behind him. If you haven't already, give this guy a nice subscribe. You won't be disappointed. Anyway, while I'm on my knees, I'll show you what I've found. It's a, it's a, it's a button! And it's a military button. Oh, it looks a bit different than the usual military buttons I find. Uh, no, it isn't. It's general service military button. Oh, I think I've got enough of these now to make a nice uh, jacket out of them, you know? Might need a bit of polishing, but still got the shank on it. Uh, I ain't complaining. Right, guys and girls, see you on the next. Banging signal. Oh, let's go see what he's got, let's go see what he's got. Live dig. Iron, iron or iron? I reckon it's going to be a clothes press. <laughs> Look at the size of that worm, it's like a snake. Straight out. Who's was it out? It's the worm, you picked up the worm. Is got, Tony Stark iron worm. He's got, he's got a gold sovereign him. on him. It's not him. It's going to be always chav worms. Nice. Are you missing a pointer, sir? No, I just thought I'd do it old school. Old school? But I was wrong. Oh, you picking up your... Where have you gone to, my lovely? Oh. Oh. Oh, I can see a corner of something in front of the worm. Where am I looking here? Yep. Shrapnel. Oh. God damn shrapnel. And how do you feel about that? Devastated. <laughs> <laughs> right. See you on the next hole, it won't be shrapnel, I promise. Right, on the next final, I thought this is a coin, it was very close up. But it's not a coin, it's flat one side, if it is, it's a brooch. Yep, that's our brooch. Just found a brooch. Yeah. Just found it looks like an old Victorian brooch. Yeah man, that's what that is. Bollocks things, I'm gonna have a little squirt up and have a good old clean up. But yeah, man, that would have had something in the middle there, like a little gem. I think it's Victorian, I think it's quite thick, isn't it? I don't know. Definitely a pin on it. Definitely a brooch of some description. Oh, that's going to clean up nicely, I think. But yeah, man, that is funky. Right, moving on. Right, um, after all the blue talk's finished, uh, I'm on to my next hole at my next signal. <laughs> Is that on video? No, it wasn't on video, thank goodness. Uh, it seems to be like a uh, letter weight or token of some description. Uh, yeah, so flat on one side. It's like beveled uh, on the other side. And I can just make out like a letter G or a 6G. Maybe it's a 6 gram weight. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they used grams back in the day, but hey, cool little find. Move it on. All right, for next thing, look. Look at that. It's a bit pottery, it's not on the surface, but yeah, I'm going to put it out and then come across this thing here. Oh, it's just modern. I thought it might be really old, but yeah, it's, a, it's a modern thing with three holes in it. <laughs> no idea what that is. I say modern. Yeah, absolutely no idea. One of those, you know, those things for doing that thing. <laughs> Moving on. Right, I just shoved, um, dug a 2-2 two -two end up there. We come across this little centipede guy. Look at him go! Go, little guy! Run away! Oh, he's got a lot to go. I'm right in the middle of a field here. He's got a long way to go to find some hedge. Anyway, moving on.